namaskara a very warm welcome to universal group of institutions india is the highest populated country in the world india just recently conducted mahakumbh and you know what the total numbers that has come out in the mahakumbh the people who have taken the holy dip is a whopping 66.3 crore plus we a country we a nation with around 140 plus crore population 66 crore plus people have taken a holy dip could not have been possible without science and tech of course and this is what we are going to focus on so yes we have some headlines which are taking rounds and we being aspirants of ks exam upsc exam or any other administrative services exam these kind of events are kind of like a benchmark for us to understand a kind of a benchmark for us to understand how an event should be conducted or if a question in exam comes that if so and so event has happened you if you are an ips officer or ias officer how will you plan what will be the strategies you plan so these are the questions that can certainly be asked in your interview or in your mains examination in one way or the other so mahakum is a brilliant example let's get into some of the headlines that made rounds here 45 days 66.30 crore pilgrims mahakum ends on high note prayagraj mahakum ends government says over 1.53 crore devotees took holy dip on the last day on the day of mahashivratri around 1.53 crore devotees took the holy dip a huge number a number greater than the population of so many countries put together well we have 45 day mahakumbh that ends with snan on mahashivratri then we were making rounds not just in the indian newspapers but worldwide because it's the mela like no other well mahakumbh ends on a note of devotion here you go here we are with the video on role of science and tech in mahakumbh a upsc perspective a ks perspective or a human perspective But before we dive into the topic I have a small announcement to make we at Universal Group of Institutions are providing amazing courses we provide you a degree and we make you job ready do check the details in the description box to book a seat you can use my referral code NIT006 and avail attractive discounts with this let's get back to the very very important topic the role of science and tech in mahakum and that is the place where i also happened to visit and i happened to meet range officers some of the range officers who told me what is happening on the ground level the crisis situation that also arises because of the stampede where so many people died and the kind of the situation and the police management which was at play again the role of science and tech comes into this kind of a situation as well let's get started the mahakum mela one of the largest religious gatherings in the world requires significant logistical and administrative efforts science and tech is crucial in ensuring its smooth conduct from crowd management to environmental conservation the technological advancements contribute in multiple ways let's check them how we actually got to know that these were the number of people 66 crore plus people attended the mahakum how are we counting the data how are we counting the people do we have the reservation tickets of everybody coming by the flight or walking no what are we making use of well science and tech so use of artificial intelligence big data for the crowd management that's first role of the science and tech coming up for you ai driven facial recognition and surveillance cameras help in monitoring the movement of the people to track the people to track the people lost and found as well we had ai driven facial recognition surveillance system then there were drones there were drones hovering everywhere around this whole prayagraj region drones provided real time aerial views to authorities for better crowd control and security and then we made use of big data analytics to predict crowd density and movement patterns to prevent stampedes an unfortunate situation that happened but needless to say the total product of every effort put together was incredible the police was so supportive the people of prayagraj were so supportive and the triveni sangam was in itself so powerful that only a country like india can conduct now here is the satellite technology and the gis system for the event planning that was used the isro satellite imagery and geographical information system gis so gis we call it for 
geographic information systems were used for mapping the area planning temporary settlements and tracking water levels in the river ganga in fact there were some pulls the pipa pulls they called it the temporary pulls that were put into place some temporary ways that were made and the technology in creating different hot spots for public recreation i'll talk more about that so gis tools help in the traffic regulation and route optimization for pilgrims and of course needless to say the role of the 5g and communication networks we had i'll just show you the news on 5g and communication networks as well we made use of 5g the 5g networks provided high speed connectivity for better coordination among security personnel and emergency responders and the smart shops smart kiosks helped visitors with directions event schedules and important announcements we could count the number of people from the satellite from the statistical tools from the drones from the cameras again everything to do with science and tech and here comes the great great display of science and tech in mahakum uh, well this is the video shot by my own camera this is digital kumbh amazing amazing technology at play there were ai images beautifully set technological advancements in different ways in the form of the pictures that were shown and the 3d 5d movies that were shown in the digital kumbh well here is what The Ericsson report has to say real time traffic monitoring data analytics and on site optimization played key roles in maintaining network performance throughout the event. We can't even imagine so many people around 1.6 crore on the very last day. Imagine the kind of the organized chaos that would be. Everybody calling each other but no interference of the network whatsoever. The Management was so great that the release added that Ericsson and Jio's dedicated teams worked tirelessly, supported by five on-field wall rooms, to ensure continuous service in the high-density zone. So, in such kind of high-density zones, it's very probable that the servers might go down. That did not happen. Well, especially in Varanasi and Ayodhya, which also saw increased traffic. And this is the report I'm talking about: unprecedented network traffic surge seen in Varanasi and Ayodhya during Mahakum 2025. Ericsson report said, along with Prayagraj, the places like Ayodhya and Varanasi also saw the surge in traffic of the network, which were well handled by Jio and Ericsson together. So science and tech is involved in making this event successful along with the able organizations that made it happen and we the people of country who cherished every moment of it and not to forget the aghoris the naga sadhus the saints who are worshiping and into their sadhana for the welfare of the entire country i hope you really like the video do let me know if you visited mahakum and what was your experience like in the comments below if you visited if you haven't do let me know what are your views on the science and tech in mahakum this is me nitika signing off